Hello everyone and welcome to my efficiency tutorial on big reactors. So as you can see this is the smallest reactor possible. Now numbers are when the core is fresh but as you can see when it has waste as you can see uh, 807 millibuckets this the consumation the fuel burn up goes down and the power output goes also down. When it uh, reaches one millibucket, one thousand millibucket, will output an ingot, and of course, if you have an auto eject, it will output an ingot and will be back to a max efficiency, or I mean max power output. So here we have our basic reactor road, and this is producing when the core is fresh, 562 hours for tick, for uh, ignore that Q there, for. Um, 0 0.084 millibuckets per tick. Now that's pretty good because um, for 12 ingots of Yellowium you can run for about uh, I'd say an hour maybe. Uh, well, a lot of time. As you can see, one Yellowium is a thousand millibuckets. Um, now here. You can use mailbox and those includes copper, tin and uh, everything. The best is indirium. There is also diamond, that's quite cool. What they do is they rods emit radiations. If those radiations go against the wall, it's power lost. With this, the radiations are reflected. Now, this isn't really efficient because we only have one rod, but it's like more than doubles the power output, almost, not, not almost, but almost triples it, and for the same amount of um, milk buckets. And as you can see, it produces way much, but this is, it's probably showing less because it has been running for a long time and it has output some waste. Now the heat is not going up because those endurium blocks are containing the heat. Next up we have uh, coolants. Resonant ender is the best coolant. There's also gelid cryotherium which is good and water which is basic and as you can see this is a bit more than that but I'll explain why. When the radiations are, are emitted those this, this liquid ender um, makes it cold and it reduces the power loss by a lot. Now blocks are better but if you use if you fill the entire thing you will lose efficiency. While liquids are not as great as blocks but you can fill everything up and will augment the efficiency. So now that's a compromise and with only one fuel rod as you can see using a compromise doesn't produce as much as this one but more than this one this is what brings me to the reactors uh, 7 by 7 by 5 All right, this one is producing 7000 hour fatigue for w 1 millibucket uh, a tenth of a millibucket per tick so it means a lot it means it's not a lot lot but it's quite a significant amount. So now we have all the outer edge edges uh, full of enderium blocks and those are reflecting the thing but they are making the radiations uh, less um, uh, with they, they are reducing the strength of the radiations while this one are uh, cooling them down. Um, this is not really efficient, as you can see the core heat is not really low and it's it produces a, a good amount. Oh, this one is a little bit more efficient. I should turn it on so you are able to see. You can see quickly going up. And this is not the best reactor design, but it's a, it's a really good one and I'm th this is the one I'm using in my uh, Let's Play series. So, Enderian blocks are making the heat being shared. Uh, those rods by touching each other 
they are acting as a block except they are also uh, storing and uh, using power um, then the heat is reflected except when it comes like this like this like this and like this when it comes like this 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 it's cooled down by all the liquefied ender make it uh, making it more efficient this is way cheaper than this one because this one requires a lot more enduring blocks and it's more efficient so this is how i came up with this design in my taste world so i hope this video um, has allowed you to understand a bit more about the reactor now again this is my vision of things um, it's not a hundred percent are correct but it's pretty close so do remember blocks are more efficient but if you put more blocks than you should it's gonna lesser the efficiency for example if I were to fill the corners here with blocks it will make the efficiency go down so I hope you have enjoyed this quick little tutorial I hope to see you all at I hope to see you all next time. Bye.